So normally I'd start this off by giving you a tour of my college campus. But because lockdown, that isn't possible. But look at this though. <laughs> the Cambridge University Lecture Hall. Yo, check this out. It comes with Fortnite too. Look at this. This the music department. <laughs> oh god damn, they need to ask their parents for some new sticks. The Cambridge University Library. The Cambridge University Practical Lab. This is where we do all our coding. Here's a bit of graphics. This is my coursework. If you look closely, it kind of resembles Baby Yoda. Ah, computer science. The one subject where you can stare at a coursework, improving it for dozens of hours, only to be in a position worse than before because you've screwed up the only copy of your code and you, the computer scientist, didn't back up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Always back it up. Komsky, the subject that will have you on your dorm room floor before you've even started your assignment because they wanted you to use Chime to access it, which is more like what professional programmers use, but no one tells you it doesn't like Windows, and no one mentioned you need to create an account in Gitbash. Nope, not the setup guy they link to in the lecture, not the handful of articles within Google. Nope. Only the least popular YouTube video on the topic, which you only discover a month after your task was due. <sighs> And so, this first term was how I was rudely introduced to the idea of responsibility. It's university. The lecturers don't care if the class gets A stars or C's or D's like at sixth form. It's rare for them to personally push you at uni. Your tutors don't care if you don't. I must add a side note, it's really not in their job description, but some supervisors and tutors really will take the time to check up on you, to make sure you've got a balanced routine going on, that you're not struggling, and to make sure life isn't too bad. You're now responsible for yourself. No one's going to push you or show you how to do the little things. It's all on you. And rightfully so. You're an adult. You're 18. But the pains of coding aren't unique to Cambridge. No. What is, however, is the fact that they start you off with OCaml, a language so archaic and unpopular, a language where the only people talking about it on the internet are students who've had to unfortunately study it. If you haven't heard of it, and let's be honest, who has heard of OCaml? It forces you to see things how a mathematician would. You have to think deep and purposefully. You're limited to what you can do with it. It's much harder to create a game or a simulation with it because, well, it's not made for that. At the end of the day, I'm kind of grateful the course designers decided to put OCaml at the very start. OCaml was the perfect language to start us off with. This kind of bare bones programming without the help of an IDE, which basically means you're typing everything up into a notepad file. It means you really have to understand basic ideas, things like creating your own data type, which is kind of like creating a class in Java, or even how and why recursion works. I've tried learning Java before, and having been introduced to OCaml, I can say the struggle pays off. Two weeks in, I would have cursed at them, but it's proven to be really useful. In your first term, they'll throw a bunch of programming languages at you. OCaml, Python, SQL, Cypher, Java, and they expect you to get a grip of things with less guidance than you'd hope for. Throwing OCaml at you will make you think like a programmer and really appreciate the art behind it. I'm used to this now, the lectures on a Saturday, that's Netflix time, okay? Also, I only recently had I get a BA as a computer scientist. Mathematicians, engineers, they're getting BAs. Okay. So apparently, it's because in the Middle Ages, science and art were widely seen as the same thing, which kind of makes sense for early science. I guess it just carried on till today. But still, I just want my Saturdays back, man. If you're going to do computer science at Cambridge, you need to evaluate what kind of person you are. This is a very theoretical degree. With a lot of your time going into thinking about the material, just trying to understand it, they'll introduce you to the workflows behind group projects, and they'll show you good coding practices. But there's almost no group projects in this course as far as I know. People doing computer science and engineering at other unis have way more opportunities to develop soft skills, communication, just generally learning how to apply stuff to the real world. Literally 25% of this degree is mathematics. Also, the best part about being at Cambridge 
are the drunk student at parties. When they go from babbling, stumbling and falling to intelligently ranting about why communism failed, capitalism is the only economic solution. You almost forget the people around you are some of the most knowledgeable our age when it comes to their courses. At the end of the day, I'm grateful to be on this course. I've realized even if you don't want to pursue a professional career, a degree will make you more valuable. Whether you want to start a business, become an actor, dance for Ariana Grande. As a young adult, basically anything you do that takes dozens of hours a week, you will call upon that experience later in life. If you have something you want to do that will take this amount of time, do that instead. Otherwise, and I don't appreciate enough how much privilege I have to say this, just do a degree. My first week here, and even right now, three months in, I thought I didn't deserve to be on this course. The people here are keen. That does not mean just smart. It means there's people here that will gladly put 10 hours a day into this. If you're on a uni course, working a job, doing anything really, remember, if you went through a process to get where you are, you deserve to be there. 90% of the time, it's only you telling yourself otherwise. Who gives a sh if it's anyone else? What I've described, it's a thing. It's called imposter syndrome. You being where you are isn't a mistake. Tell yourself that, you deserve it. Almost every opinion I had about this degree was wrong. I thought Okama was arbitrary and arbit arbitrary. Arbitrary. I thought Okama was arbitrary and useless. But it drowned me with new concepts. And just when you start to surface, they dunk you in Java. But then, you remember, Okamo taught you how to float. So it isn't that bad. This degree is tiring. I knew little about programming going into this course. And I am far from the smartest in this year. Free time is existent, but you need to level up your time management to unlock it. Well, that's all the information. And that's all from me for now. Have a fantastic day and... Like and subscribe. Cheers.